I mentioned that these porous materials are great because they have high surface areas and they are tunable so they can, you can make catalysts out of them, you can make uh, um, ele electronic conductors, electric conductors, perhaps ionic conductors, but really all of these properties will hinge their development on say large scale or in industri industry scale will hinge on the possibility of making them water stable. Water's all around us. We have to make our materials water stable. Look outside today, it's pretty moist out there, right? So we need to make our materials stable to water and relatively high temperatures. And so one of the things that we're working on is actually address the water stability issues that some of these materials have had in the past. And so the way we're doing that is again, through a very fundamental sort of freshman chemistry way of thinking, which is, okay, what makes a stronger bond? Is it oxygen and zinc or is it nitrogen and zinc? And what it turns out is that nitrogen and zinc make stronger bonds. And from there, from this very simple concept, we, we make materials that are very water stable. So they don't lose porosity, they don't lose their structural integrity. When we expose them to water, we can boil these things in water actually, and they don't lose porosity. So we've addressed actually one of the most important questions in this field, in this uh, pretty uh, young field actually of these metal organic frameworks, which is how do you make these materials water stable? And in doing so, uh, we've demonstrated that they can actually be used to store water. Now why would you want to store water? Um, the reason you want to store water is because uh, there's an emerging need for uh, heat pumping applications. Uh, building, the energy used in cooling buildings and just operating uh, energy costs for buildings is one of the, the largest energy expenditures in the U.S. So if you're able, for instance, to uh, make an air conditioner that functions at even 80% of the energy consumption that current air conditioners do, you would have an absolutely enormous impact. This would probably have the largest impact of any of our research if we were actually able to deliver materials that could enable this new age of, um, of air conditioners. And these air conditioners are so-called adsorption-based uh, heat pumps or air conditioners. And uh, by making these materials that have very high surface areas so they can absorb a lot of water, also be water stable, which is sort of, okay, well, duh, you have to do that. But really, it hasn't, it's, not, it's not trivial to do that with these materials. I think uh, we'll have a huge impact in this area of, of heat pump applications.